Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello. My name is Janie and I do um, all kinds of different videos as far as beauty, hauls, lifestyle, um, book reviews, favorites, gosh, a mask, sheet mask reviews, and a little bit of luxury thrown in here and there. I upload on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also that bell icon. Thank you so much and let's get started. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a hodgepodge haul video. I um, have some stuff from Ulta and from Hobby Lobby and um, Melody Cosmetics and one PR product. So I'm going to start with the PR product um, just because that's one of the stipulations from um, the PR product. Anyway, it is a product that was sent to me through Octoly and it is this product here and this is from a company called We Dead. I'm very familiar with We Dad. I've been using their products for years. Um, they are specially formulated for girls with ladies, guys with um, curly hair. And that was open and now it's leaked everywhere. Anyway, <laughs> so I was really excited when they had some uh, We Dad products on the Octoly website that we were able to choose from and um, try to um, select to be chosen to review. Anyway, they did ch choose me to review this product and it's the Monogonal Monago Oil. There will be a link down in the description box on it. I just got this in the mail today. Uh, looks like this here. It is a spray. Um, it is specially formulated for um, girls, or I keep saying girls, I'm sorry, for people with curly hair, natural curly hair like I have, and it's just an oil that can be used. Um, my bottle was open a little bit, so we're going to demonstrate how you can use it, but um, you can just definitely put it through the hair like this as one type of um, way to use the oil. This is how I like to use oil anyway. Um, I get a lot of frizziness around my hairline. I think it just gets dry right in there. So this is how I like to use an oil a lot of times anyway, just to kind of help tame down that little bit of frizziness there. And then I just kind of just um, run it through. Well, I can't really run it through. I scrunch it through the um, hair kind of like this here. And let me kind of adjust this curl a little bit right there. So that is one way that you can use it. You can use it as a leave-in conditioner. You can use it as a pre-treatment um, if you wanted to um, blow dry your hair. You know, with the diffuser, I don't use any kind of heat on my hair. I let it dry naturally. Even in the winter time, there could be 10 feet of snow outside, and I will go out with wet hair because I just don't use heat on my hair anyway. Um, like I say, you can do it as a leave-in. Gosh, how else does it say? I was reading this earlier. Um, as a scalp treatment by just putting some on your hands and massaging it into the scalp. It's very important to stimulate your scalp and it's going to help to um, hydrate the scalp like this, which I like. And when you have curly hair, you have to be very um, gentle with your curls and try not to disturb them as much as possible because um, they're like little they're like little monsters on your head and um, little beast and if you disturb them and um, jack with them too much they want to then be angry and misbehave and get all frizzy and get out to here anyway so yes yeah, so I'm glad I have that it smells good. Um, it's not very perfumey. It has a lot of different oils in it other than the, just that one oil. Um, I read on there it had broccoli broccoli oil. Let me get my glasses. Hang on. What kind of oils it said it had in here? Uh, da, 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 da. Where, where 
where did that go? American palm seed oil and broccoli seed oil, coconut, and the Monago nut oil. So yes, whoops, glare. So anyway, so that's the different oils that it has in it. So um, I'm all about using an oil in my hair. So I was really glad to um, receive that and we'll be giving it a try. Okay, um, the next products I'm gonna talk about is from this company here, which is called the Melody Cosmetic Company. And I ordered, I had talked about a rose, a rose hip mist oil in my last empties and how much I like it. I have featured this in a um, favorites video also and I decided that I just couldn't be without it so I went ahead and ordered um, two more bottles of it. Um, I just like it to I don't, it's not a setting spray, it's more like, a, you can use it as a prep spray, you can use it as a moisturizing spray, um, you can use it on your hair, but I like to use it, whoa, kind of fuzzy, where am I at? Alright, come on, here I am, here I am, there we go, good, good camera, <laughs> anyway, um, I like to use this as almost my last step of makeup application after I put everything on with the exception of my mascara then I will spritz my face with this and then I will put my mascara on and then I put my setting spray on but it's just a really really nice um, rose mist very refreshing very moisturizing it has really good products in it it's good for the skin um, you can use it as a hairspray a face spray a prep spray after makeup up application spray i i recommend it i think it's good i like this company that i ordered from um they sent in a little card a thank you card about the product they also sent a whole bunch of samples and a um, sheet mask and i already used the sheet mask but and i'll show you the samples here in a moment they're kind of buried in my ulta sack but i did get that so then have an Ulta, a little Ulta sack right here. Okay, did you see it? Oh yeah, you've seen it. <laughs> Ulta, Ulta, Ulta. Anyway, the main reason why I went into Ulta was I was needing a new eyebrow pomade. Um, if you would have seen my last empties, I had two um, eyebrow pomades that one was halfway used and was dried up and the other one was three quarters of the way used and was dried up so I needed a new one so I went into Ulta to pick out a new one I was going to get the IT Cosmetics um, Build a Brow then I was looking at the Anastasia pomade and when I was looking at that the girl was like yeah you need to look at the um one from Benefit also before you make a decision. So anyway, I looked at all of them and I ended up purchasing the one from Benefit and there was two reasons why I purchased this one. Um, one, the color tone I felt was the best out of all the three of the color tone that I was looking for for my brows and my hair color and my complexion. And so it is in the number two. And then second of all, it was, it is a smaller pot and it was a little bit more expensive than the other two, but not by much, by like maybe $5. But I was, in my mind, I was thinking, well, those other ones, I didn't get to use all of them, be, all of it because they dried up. So I kind of wasted some of that product. So I'm thinking, well, this is smaller. So hopefully um, by time I get to the end of this that it won't be dried up so I will get you know my full money's worth out of it it also has on the end a brush I don't use this but there it is there if you wanted to use it am I gonna are you focusing camera there we go 
camera's being slow today. Anyway, so I did pick that up. And of course, when you go into Ulta, it's very hard to just get one thing. So I thought, I'm not gonna put that in the box. I've been using this. I need to go back on my vanity. So anyway, um, I've been wanting to get, oh, sorry, I was talking to my sack. I have been wanting to get um, this new perfume that had come out a few months ago, but it's been sold out forever, even on the Ulta website. And I had smelt it, even when I went on my um, vacation back in August to um, Vegas, I even looked for it there, and everywhere that I looked for it, it was sold out. And what I'm talking about, I'm trying to get it all back together here. This is new fragrance from Philosophy, and it's the Amazing Grace Ballet Rose. And here's the box. First of all, the box is just really, really pretty. But um, it definitely is a rose scented product. Found, or not foundation, but perfume. Actually, it's a toilet. That's the only thing I don't like about it. I wished it was um, the, the perfume, but they came out with it in the toilet. Here's what the bottle looks like, and it is just beautiful. It smells beautiful, which I love. Which I love the Philosophy um, Amazing Grace line anyway. Um, it's just so pretty and smells good. And have used it off and on for years. And if you haven't smelt it and you like a rose perfume, go into Ulta and give it a sniff. You will like it. The only problem with it, with it being a toilet, it just doesn't last as long as I would like for it to. But anyway. Okay, so then I was perusing the aisles just a little bit and came across, hang on, let me get the rest of this stuff out of this sack so we can get on with this. And in the clearance section, I came across this little kit here from Wee Dad. Again, like, you, like I've said, I've used Wee Dad forever and ever, and this has... This is from the Curl Quencher line, which is my favorite line of gel that I use in my hair every day. Every single day, I use this Curl Quencher Moisturizing um, Gel in my hair. I buy it, come on now, I buy it in the big liter sizes directly from Wee Dad when they do like a 20 or 25% off sale. Anyway, this was on clearance for $8.97 and it has the shampoo, the conditioner, the gel and the um, intense curl cream so it has all that in there it's just little travel sizes but they're pretty decent sizes actually I mean, you'll get a lot of uses or i'll get a lot of uses out of that size and for nine dollars i mean couldn't beat that price so that was what i got and went up to the checkouts to check out and she's like, oh, she's like, you qualify for some a free gift. I'm like, okay. So she brings out this first from Philosophy. And because I bought that perfume. And in it has the Purity Made Simple, which is one of my favorite face washes. Uh, the Renewal Hope in a Jar. And the Time in a Bottle 100% in Control um, Repair Cream. And these are all little, um, little travel sizes. So this this is definitely a good size, and definitely a few weeks worth of product in both of those to give them a try. So that was in that, and then she went to another cabinet and then she pulled this out and said, "I get this too." And this again is from Philosophy, and in it is another of the little purity made simple um, face washes this is wonderful for getting everything off of your face makeup wise i mean it gets everything off then there is an amazing grace um, body lotion a micro delivery um, exfoliating facial wash which is a really good um, gentle daily exfoliating wash it's got little bitty 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 microbeads in it that's very gentle on the skin 
so it's very good to use daily and a uplifting miracle worker moisturizer and uh, the miracle worker eye cool lift and firm eye cream was in there too so I got all of that just because I purchased the perfume and then she went to another cabinet and pulled out where did it go oh did I lose it Then she pulled out this guy um, because I bought that little kit for nine dollars I got this for free and it's the curl quencher um, curl cream in a bigger size in the two foot ounce size and that was the main reason why I bought that little kit was because I wanted to try this and then I got another bigger size of it so I thought wow I have the jackpot on my um, little purchases there on getting all that free stuff. That's pretty exciting. I'm just going to dump it all into this bag while it's all together. So yeah, so I got this little bag and all of those goodies for free just for making those purchases. So anyway, all right, now I can show you the samples that I got from the manual company. So what they're called, why do I keep calling that? Melody Cosmetics. I keep calling it that because the manual company is what, or manual factory, is what makes rosehip oil. That's the brand of it. Um, but the company that I ordered it from is called Melody Cosmetics, and they have a lot of different brands of Korean skincare. I was going to see if I could find, oh yeah, here it is. Here's the mask that was in that, um, Gosh, I can't even think that was in that order and it's the um, oh, what is that called I don't even have my glasses on I can't see nothing I think I'm gonna have to go get my eyes rechecked um, is in tree is in tree um, brand from Korea is the Asian white willow mask I'll be talking more about that in my um, mask video but I got that and then they sent all these little samples here um, the rose hip cream from the Mano factory and gosh what else did they send me her herb green fresh lotion from the Mano factory and another one from the Mano factory the 4GF eye cream and the Manual Factory Fresh, Real Fresh Aloe Soothing Gel. And a Herb Green Jelly Skin Moisturizing. It's just a moisturizer. So those were the free little samples that they sent in that order. So I was like, that was pretty, pretty good. Get all those little freebies at no charge. Okay, so then I went to Hobby Lobby. Um, I've started to really get into doing my planner. I've been using my planner a lot this year, and I didn't want to go and do a whole lot of, you know, buying stuff to decorate it with and everything until I really got a good feel if I was going to use a planner or not. And I do use it every single day, so. I decided to go ahead and buy some new decorating pieces for the upcoming 2018 planner um, inserts that I ordered. So anyway, I went to Hobby Lobby and I ordered this big or purchased this big pack of washi tape. And each row is for each of the seasons. So here's for like October and Halloween, Thanksgiving. And then this row right here is for Christmas. Then we have spring and for Valentine's Day, New Year's, Easter, summer, anyway. So I have all the washi tape I could possibly ever need for any type of season or holiday that happens during that season. Then I found some little, um, what are these called? Little page markers, I guess, or little little paper clips, little clip markers. These were on clearance. And um, 
some little tabs. And some more washi tape. <laughs> These were on clearance, so I have enough washi tape to last me until the end of time. I thought this was cute because it had all the em emojis on it, <laughs> on that yellow one. I don't know if that's going to focus to where you can see all the different emojis. And then this one I got because it had that pink polka dot. And what else? I mean, yeah. Some more washi tape. <laughs> I know. And I have a little planner. I have one of the little planners, a little personal planner. So oh, I don't know where I'm gonna stick all this stuff. And then I got these little book of sticker sticklers stickers. And this is from the Carpe Dean. What? I don't know what that is. Carpe Dean. I don't know, but it's the mini sticker tablet as 578 stickers of the seasons of the different seasons. And I thought the size of these would fit really good. Let's see. Oh, and they're by the month, too. So, I, so like, this one's going to be for November. So I can decorate my November spread. Oh, those cute little stickers. Oh, look at this one for December. That one's really cute. Oh, I can't wait. So, yeah. So anyway, so that was what I got from Hobby Lobby. So anyway, that is it for this haul. I hope that you enjoyed. And don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up. And I will talk to you soon.